Alright guys, it's Isaac, and uh, what I got today is uh, some brake work on this 53 Chevy. Hopefully I'll be able to get it all done in one uh, take, I hope. I hope I'd, I don't want to break it up in more than one segment, but uh, we'll see. It's, it's pretty complicated, for me at least. I mean, it, whatever. This is what I've got. This is the brake master cylinder. This is the clutch pedal, and this is this other one is for the uh, brake pedal. It's a little uh, unusual. Here's a more modern day master cylinder. This is out of uh, like for a '68 Chevy Impala. Um, I want to. And this is a dual master cylinder. This one is a single master cylinder. This one has two circuits in it, so if uh, a brake line breaks. Uh, you still at least have half of your brakes. Whereas this one, if the brake line breaks, you have no brakes whatsoever. So uh, I'd like to switch over to this dual master cylinder uh, setup. And I'm going to make a uh, adapter to uh, make the dual master cylinder work. My idea is... Uh, I'm going to have a plate on the bottom, and I'm going to have a plate on the front here with a hole drilled in it, and the master cylinder is just going to fit right in there and bolt right up. On the very front of this plate, I'm going to cut the snout off of this, the end of this master cylinder, and I'm going to weld it on the end of this plate. That is my plan. Uh, hopefully it will work. I have myself a hole saw here. I've centered the sp spot where I've got to drill a hole for the uh, master cylinder to pass through and I'm about to drill it. With a little bit of spray paint, I can see where I need to drill the uh, holes for the uh, to bolt up the master cylinder. All right, guys, I'm uh, in the middle of cutting off the uh, end of this uh, master cylinder to weld on my bracket. So I've I bolted down the master cylinder. I'm welding some bolts. From, from the master cylinder in that I'm keeping still to the uh, plate that I bolted it to. When I weld this all up, I'll finish cutting off the master cylinder, I'll unbolt it, and I'll set the new master cylinder up against this. I'm going to tack it, bolt it down, weld it all up, and uh, hopefully I'll have everything right. All right, I have cut through it completely, and my welds are holding this in place. I'm about to unbolt this, move it out of the way, and move the new one in place. Look at that. And the pedals are in place still. This goes here. Got this nice magnet for squaring things up.
That looks pretty good. All right, now I'm going to just tack weld it in place. Tomorrow, I'll go take this thing and have it really welded nice because this is cast iron and this is regular steel. Just regular welding is not going to hold. Um, I can tack it. That's what I'm doing. I've tacked it and it'll hold it in place until it gets welded right. Okay, guys. I'm here at the shop. I have my uh, pedal box. Boy, that's pretty sharp. i got to cut that down. That is real sharp. Um, I got my pedal box basically welded together. I do have to braze this cast iron piece to the steel. So I've got to use the torch and do some brazing. And you heat up your metals cherry red. It's taking a little long, so I'm turning up the heat a little bit. You want to see that brass lay out like so. Seems to. Yeah, we got to go. You see how it puddles up and down on both of them? Yeah. When it, when it walks out on it, that's... that's Probably be uh, plenty strong. Yes. Yeah, go ahead and get the metal ahead of it hot, is what you're trying to do. Yeah. Isn't bad. Nope. When it, when it wicks up both sides, you got right. That's what you got. Hopefully, it'll be uh, strong enough for uh, what I need. I'm going to clean it up and judge it. I've got the uh, pedal box taken care of got it brazed up welded up it doesn't look too bad but I have run into a problem I have carelessly not uh, made my pedal box wide enough but it looks like if I just trim off a little bit off of each end of the master cylinder it'll fit right in there perfectly
There we go. Let's see if it fits. Like a glove. So I've got the master cylinder in there looking good. I need to uh, install it now and hopefully everything will work perfect. Perfect! I hope. I'm putting in bolts. There we go. And this is the factory mounting location of the original master cylinder. So I have the uh, master cylinder installed in through the uh, holy floor. I'm sure that when you saw this and I said holy floor, you said holy moly, look at that floor. Um, pans for this thing are only 67 or $69 uh, aside. So I'll be ordering floor pans for this thing and I'll be putting them in so it'll look a lot better. So, um, but I, I have the uh, master cylinder installed, and here's the clutch. Works, as you can see. And the brake pedal works, as you can see. Very happy uh, with the way it turned out. So, uh, now I'm going to be uh, taking the wheels off and pulling the drums off and seeing what I find in there so I can start rebuilding the brakes. Fall on the ground, it's all right. You know, just think of the uh, last person that worked on this car. How many years ago? It's been sitting up for like 38 years. I'm really shocked that the grease and this wheel bearing looks this good. Totally shot. And I, I, I want a, a bucket or something to put my parts in. I, I found me uh, something to put my parts in. I'll let y'all get a look at it. Old hubcap. Roller bearings. And uh, I am totally shocked that I still have the springs. I hate to find that critter that made that. Brakes are wore out. I wish I had pressure washed this thing before doing this. Well, I might, <laughs> if I pressure washed it, I would have seen how bad a shape this car was in. But I'm still fixing it. Don't want to crush it. All right. Come on, please move. Yes! Awesome. Yes. Got the bolt. Uh, I need to get these springs off. I have this tool for getting the uh, springs. Alright, I'm going to get these loose and get this uh, brake shoe off. There she is. Got it off. So that's it for this video, guys. I'm uh, working on the brakes. I got the clutch working, got the master cylinder in. Now I'm doing the wheel cylinders and brake shoes and brake lines. So hopefully soon you'll see it driving around. Uh, sorry it wasn't today, uh, but uh, it'll be fine. Um, so I'll catch y'all later. Thanks for watching.